Chlorine is a chemical element with the symbol Cl and atomic number 17. The second lightest of the halogens, it appears between fluorine and bromine in the periodic table and its properties are mostly intermediate between them. Chlorine is a yellow-green gas at room temperature. It is an extremely reactive element and a strong oxidizing agent. Among the elements, it has the highest electron affinity and the third highest electronegativity on the revised Pauling scale, behind only oxygen and fluorine. On several scales other than the revised Pauling scale, nitrogen's electronegativity is also listed as greater than chlorine's, such as on the Allen. Alred Rokoff, Martinov Batsinov, Mulliken Jaffe, Nagel, and Norzade Shakerzade electronegativity scales. Chlorine played an important role in the experiments conducted by medieval alchemists, which commonly involved the heating of chloride salts like ammonium chloride and sodium chloride. Producing various chemical substances containing chlorine such as hydrogen chloride, mercury chloride, and hydrochloric acid. However, the nature of free chlorine gas as a separate substance was only recognized around 1630 by Jan Baptist van Helmont. Carl Wilhelm Scheler wrote a description of chlorine gas in 1774, supposing it to be an oxide of a new element. In 1809, chemists suggested that the gas might be a pure element, and this was confirmed by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1810, who named it after the ancient Greek chi lambda omega rho sigma because of its color. Because of its great reactivity, all chlorine in the Earth's crust is in the form of ionic chloride compounds, which includes table salt. It is the second most abundant halogen and 21st most abundant chemical element in Earth's crust. These crustal deposits are nevertheless dwarfed by the huge reserves of chloride in seawater. Elemental chlorine is commercially produced from brine by electrolysis, predominantly in the chloralkali process. The high oxidizing potential of elemental chlorine led to the development of commercial bleaches and disinfectants, and a reagent for many processes in the chemical industry. Chlorine is used in the manufacture of a wide range of consumer products, about two-thirds of them organic chemicals such as polyvinyl chloride. Many intermediates for the production of plastics, and other end products which do not contain the element. As a common disinfectant, elemental chlorine and chlorine-generating compounds are used more directly in swimming pools to keep them sanitary. Elemental chlorine at high concentration is extremely dangerous, and poisonous to most living organisms. As a chemical warfare agent, chlorine was first used in World War I as a poison gas weapon. In the form of chloride ions, chlorine is necessary to all known species of life. Other types of chlorine compounds are rare in living organisms, and artificially produced chlorinated organics range from inert to toxic. In the upper atmosphere, chlorine-containing organic molecules such as chlorofluorocarbons have been implicated in ozone depletion. Small quantities of elemental chlorine are generated by oxidation of chloride ions and neutrophils as part of an immune system response against bacteria. The most common compound of chlorine, sodium chloride, has been known since ancient times. Archaeologists have found evidence that rock salt was used as early as 3000 BC and brine as early as 6000 BC. Around 900, the authors of the Arabic writings attributed to Jabir ibn Hayyan and the Persian physician and alchemist Abu Bekr al-Razi were experimenting with sal ammoniac, which when it was distilled together with vitriol produced hydrogen chloride. However, it appears that in these early experiments with chloride salts, the gaseous products were discarded, and hydrogen chloride may have been produced many times before it was discovered that it can be put to chemical use. One of the first such uses was the synthesis of mercury chloride, whose production from the heating of mercury either with alum and ammonium chloride or with vitriol and sodium chloride was first described in the Dahlia minibus et salibus. Another important development was the discovery by pseudo Bear that by adding ammonium chloride to nitric acid, a strong solvent capable of dissolving gold could be produced. Although aqua regia is an unstable mixture that continually gives off fumes containing free chlorine gas, this chlorine gas appears to have been ignored until C. 1630, when its nature as a separate gaseous substance was recognized by the Flemish chemist and physician Jan Baptist van Helmont. Carl Wilhelm Scheele, discoverer of chlorine the element was first studied in detail in 1774 by Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Scheele, and he is credited with the discovery. Scheele produced chlorine by reacting NO2 with HCl, Scheele observed several of the properties of chlorine, the bleaching effect on litmus, the deadly effect on insects, the yellow-green color, and the smell similar to aqua regia. He called it deplogisticated muriatic acid air since it is a gas and it came from hydrochloric acid. 
he failed to establish chlorine as an element. Common chemical theory at that time held that an acid is a compound that contains oxygen. So a number of chemists, including Claude Berthollet, suggested that Shale's depligisticated muriatic acid air must be a combination of oxygen and the yet undiscovered element, muriaticum. In 1809, Joseph Louis Gay Lussac and Louis Jacques Thienard tried to decompose depligisticated muriatic acid air by reacting it with charcoal to release the free element muriaticum. They did not succeed and published a report in which they considered the possibility that depligisticated muriatic acid air is an element, but were not convinced. In 1810, Sir Humphrey Davy tried the same experiment again, and concluded that the substance was an element, and not a compound. He announced his results to the Royal Society on 15th of November that year. At that time, he named this new element chlorine, from the Greek word chi lambda omega rho omicron sigma, in reference to its color. The name halogen, meaning salt producer, was originally used for chlorine in 1811 by Johann Salomo Christoph Schwiger. This term was later used as a generic term to describe all the elements in the chlorine family, after a suggestion by Johns Jacob Berzelius in 1826. In 1823, Michael Faraday liquefied chlorine for the first time, and demonstrated that what was then known as solid chlorine had a structure of chlorine hydrate. Chlorine gas was first used by French chemist Claude Berthollet to bleach textiles in 1785. Modern bleaches resulted from further work by Berthollet, who first produced sodium hypochlorite in 1789 in his laboratory in the town of Javel, by passing chlorine gas through a solution of sodium carbonate. The resulting liquid, known as eau de Javel, was a weak solution of sodium hypochlorite. This process was not very efficient, and alternative production methods were sought. Scottish chemist and industrialist Charles Tennant first produced a solution of calcium hypochlorite, then solid calcium hypochlorite. These compounds produced low levels of elemental chlorine and could be more efficiently transported than sodium hypochlorite, which remained as dilute solutions because when purified to eliminate water, it became a dangerously powerful and unstable oxidizer. Near the end of the 19th century, E. S. Smith patented a method of sodium hypochlorite production involving electrolysis of brine to produce sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas, which then mixed to form sodium hypochlorite. This is known as the chlorocholi process, first introduced on an industrial scale in 1892, and now the source of most elemental chlorine is sodium hydroxide. In 1884 Chemisk and Fabric Griesheim of Germany developed another chlorocholi process which entered commercial production in 1888. Elemental chlorine solutions dissolved in chemically basic water were first used as anti-putrefaction agents and disinfectants in the 1820s, in France, long before the establishment of the germ theory of disease. This practice was pioneered by Antoine Germain Le Barrequi, who adapted Berthollet's Javel water bleach and other chlorine preparations. Elemental chlorine has since served a continuous function in topical antisepsis and public sanitation, particularly in swimming and drinking water. Chlorine gas was first used as a weapon on April 22, 1915, at Ypres by the German army. The effect on the Allies was devastating because the existing gas masks were difficult to deploy and had not been broadly distributed. Chlorine, liquefied under a pressure of 7.4 bar at room temperature, displayed in a quartz ampule embedded in acrylic glass. Solid chlorine at minus 150 degrees Celsius chlorine is the second halogen, being a non-metal in group 17 of the periodic table. Its properties are thus similar to fluorine, bromine, and iodine, and are largely intermediate between those of the first two. Chlorine has the electron configuration, Ni3S23P5, with the seven electrons in the third and outermost shell acting as its valence electrons. Like all halogens, it is thus one electron short of a full octet, and is hence a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with many elements in order to complete its outer shell. Corresponding to periodic trends, it is intermediate in electronegativity between fluorine and bromine, and is less reactive than fluorine and more reactive than bromine. It is also a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine, but a stronger one than bromine. Conversely, the chloride ion is a weaker reducing agent than bromide, but a stronger one than fluoride. It is intermediate in atomic radius between fluorine and bromine, and this leads to many of its atomic properties similarly continuing the trend from iodine to bromine upward such as first ionization energy, electron affinity, enthalpy of dissociation of the X2 molecule, ionic radius, and XX bond length. 
All four stable halogens experience intermolecular van der Waals forces of attraction, and their strength increases together with the number of electrons among all homonuclear diatomic halogen molecules. Thus, the melting and boiling points of chlorine are intermediate between those of fluorine and bromine, chlorine melts at minus 101. 0 degrees Celsius and boils at minus 34. 0 degrees Celsius. As a result of the increasing molecular weight of the halogens down the group, the density and heat suffusion and vaporization of chlorine are again intermediate between those of bromine and fluorine. Although all their heats of vaporization are fairly low thanks to their diatomic molecular structure. The halogens darken in color as the group is descended, thus, while fluorine is a pale yellow gas, chlorine is distinctly yellow-green. This trend occurs because the wavelengths of visible light absorbed by the halogens increase down the group. Specifically, the color of a halogen, such as chlorine, results from the electron transition between the highest occupied antibonding pi g molecular orbital and the lowest vacant antibonding sigma u molecular orbital. The color fades at low temperatures, so that solid chlorine at minus 195 degrees Celsius is almost colorless. Like solid bromine and iodine, solid chlorine crystallizes in the orthorhombic crystal system, in a layered lattice of Cl2 molecules. The CL-CL distance is 198 pm, and the CL middle dot middle dot middle dot CL distance between molecules is 332 pm within a layer and 382 pm between layers. This structure means that chlorine is a very poor conductor of electricity, and indeed its conductivity is so low as to be practically unmeasurable. Chlorine has two stable isotopes, 35 Cl and 37 Cl. These are its only two natural isotopes occurring in quantity, with 35 Cl making up 76% of natural chlorine and 37 Cl making up the remaining 24%. Both are synthesized in stars in the oxygen burning and silicon burning processes. Both have nuclear spin 3 halves plus and thus may be used for nuclear magnetic resonance, although the spin magnitude being greater than half results in non-spherical. Nuclear charge distribution and thus resonance broadening as a result of a non-zero nuclear quadrupole moment and resultant quadrupolar relaxation. The other chlorine isotopes are all radioactive, with half-lives too short to occur in nature primordially. Of these, the most commonly used in the laboratory are 36 Cl and 38 Cl, which may be produced from the neutron activation of natural chlorine. The most stable chlorine radioisotope is 36 Cl. The primary decay mode of isotopes lighter than 35 Cl is electron capture to isotopes of sulfur, that of isotopes heavier than 37 Cl is beta decay to isotopes of argon, and 36 Cl may decay by either mode to stable 36S or 36R. 36 Cl occurs in trace quantities in nature as a cosmogenic nuclide in a ratio of about times 10 minus 13 to 1 with stable chlorine isotopes, it is produced in the atmosphere by spallation of 36 R by interactions with cosmic ray protons. In the top meter of the lithosphere, 36 Cl is generated primarily by thermal neutron activation of 35 Cl and spallation of 39 K and 40 Ka. In the subsurface environment, muon capture by 40 Ka becomes more important as a way to generate 36 Cl. Chlorine is intermediate in reactivity between fluorine and bromine, and is one of the most reactive elements. Chlorine is a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine but a stronger one than bromine or iodine. This can be seen from the standard electrode potentials of the X2 slash X minus couples. However, this trend is not shown in the bond energies because fluorine is singular due to its small size, low polarizability, and inability to show hypervalence. As another difference, chlorine has a significant chemistry in positive oxidation states while fluorine does not. Chlorination often leads to higher oxidation states than bromination or iodination with lower oxidation states than fluorination. Chlorine tends to react with compounds including MM, MH, or MC bonds to form MCL bonds. Given that E degrees equals plus 1. 229 V, which is less than plus 1. 395 V, it would be expected that chlorine should be able to oxidize water to oxygen and hydrochloric acid. However, the kinetics of this reaction are unfavorable, and there is also a bubble over potential effect to consider so that electrolysis of aqueous chloride solutions evolves chlorine gas and not oxygen gas. A fact that is very useful for the industrial production of chlorine. Structure of solid deuterium chloride, with d-middle.middle.middle.cl hydrogen bonds The simplest chlorine compound is hydrogen chloride, HCl, a major chemical in industry as well as in a laboratory, both as a gas and dissolved in water as hydrochloric acid. 
It is often produced by burning hydrogen gas in chlorine gas, or as a byproduct of chlorinating hydrocarbons. Another approach is to treat sodium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce hydrochloric acid, also known as the salt cake process. In the laboratory, hydrogen chloride gas may be made by drying the acid with concentrated sulfuric acid. Deuterium chloride, DCL, may be produced by reacting benzoyl chloride with heavy water. At room temperature, hydrogen chloride is a colorless gas, like all the hydrogen halides apart from hydrogen fluoride, since hydrogen cannot form strong hydrogen bonds to the larger electronegative chlorine atom. However, weak hydrogen bonding is present in solid crystalline hydrogen chloride at low temperatures, similar to the hydrogen fluoride structure, before disorder begins to prevail as the temperature is raised. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid because the hydrogen bonds to chlorine are too weak to inhibit dissociation. The HCl-H2O system has many hydrates HCl middle dot NH2O for N equals 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Beyond a 1 to 1 mixture of HCl and H2O, the system separates completely into two separate liquid phases. Hydrochloric acid forms an azeotrope with boiling point 108. 58 degrees Celsius at 20. 22 g HCl per 100 g solution. Thus hydrochloric acid cannot be concentrated beyond this point by distillation. Unlike hydrogen fluoride, anhydrous liquid hydrogen chloride is difficult to work with as a solvent, because its boiling point is low, it has a small liquid range, its dielectric constant is low and it does not dissociate appreciably into H2Cl plus and HCl minus 2 ions, the latter. In any case, are much less stable than the bifluoride ions due to the very weak hydrogen bonding between hydrogen and chlorine. Though its salts with very large and weakly polarizing cations such as C' S plus and NR plus 4 may still be isolated. Anhydrous hydrogen chloride is a poor solvent, only able to dissolve small molecular compounds such as nitrosyl chloride and phenol, or salts with very low lattice energy such as tetraalkylammonium halides. It readily protonates electrophiles containing lone pairs or pi bonds. Solvolysis Ligand replacement reactions, and oxidations are well characterized in hydrogen chloride solution, hydrated nickel chloride, NiCl26. Nearly all elements in the periodic table form binary chlorides. The exceptions are decidedly in the minority and stem in each case from one of three causes, extreme inertness and reluctance to participate in chemical reactions, extreme nuclear instability hampering. Chemical investigation before decay and transmutation and having an electronegativity higher than chlorine so that the resultant binary compounds are formally not chlorides but rather oxides or fluorides of chlorine. Even though nitrogen in NCl3 is bearing a negative charge, the compound is usually called nitrogen trichloride. Chlorination of metals with Cl2 usually leads to a higher oxidation state than bromination with Br2 when multiple oxidation states are available, such as in MoCl5 and MoBr3. Chlorides can be made by reaction of an element or its oxide, hydroxide, or carbonate with hydrochloric acid, and then dehydrated by mildly high temperatures combined with either low pressure or anhydrous hydrogen chloride gas. These methods work best when the chloride product is stable to hydrolysis, otherwise, the possibilities include high temperature oxidative chlorination of the element with chlorine or hydrogen chloride. High temperature chlorination of a metal oxide or other halide by chlorine, a volatile metal chloride, carbon tetrachloride, or an organic chloride. For instance, zirconium dioxide reacts with chlorine at standard conditions to produce zirconium tetrachloride, and uranium trioxide reacts with hexachloropropene when heated under reflux to give uranium tetrachloride. The second example also involves a reduction in oxidation state, which can also be achieved by reducing a higher chloride using hydrogen or a metal as a reducing agent. This may also be achieved by thermal decomposition or disproportionation as follows. Most of the chlorides the metals in groups 1, 2, and 3, along with the lanthanides and actinides in the plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation states, are mostly ionic, while nonmetals tend to form covalent molecular chlorides, as do metals in high oxidation states from plus 3 and above. Silver chloride is very insoluble in water and is thus often used as a qualitative test for chlorine. Although dichlorine is a strong oxidizing agent with a high first ionization energy, it may be oxidized under extreme conditions to form the Cl plus 2 cation. This is very unstable and has only been characterized by its electronic band spectrum when produced in a low pressure discharge tube. The yellow Cl plus 3 cation is more stable and may be produced as follows. This reaction is conducted in the oxidizing solvent arsenic pentafluoride. 
The trichloride anion, Cl-3, has also been characterized, it is analogous to triiodide. The three fluorides of chlorine form a subset of the inner halogen compounds, all of which are diamagnetic. Some cationic and anionic derivatives are known, such as ClF-2, ClF-4, ClF-2, and Cl2F+. Some pseudohalides of chlorine are also known, such as cyanogen chloride, chlorine cyanate, chlorine thiocyanate, and chlorine azide. Chlorine monofluoride is extremely thermally stable, and is sold commercially in 500 gram steel lecture bottles. It is a colorless gas that melts at minus 155. 6 degrees Celsius and boils at minus 100. 1 degree Celsius. It may be produced by the direction of its elements at 225 degrees Celsius, though it must then be separated and purified from chlorine trifluoride and its reactants. Its properties are mostly intermediate between those of chlorine and fluorine. It will react with many metals and nonmetals from room temperature and above, fluorinating them and liberating chlorine. It will also act as a chlorofluorinating agent, adding chlorine and fluorine across a multiple bond or by oxidation. For example, it will attack carbon monoxide to form carbonyl chlorofluoride, CoCl. It will react analogously with hexafluoroacetone, 2-Co, with a potassium fluoride catalyst to produce heptafluoroisopropyl hypochlorite. 2 focal with nitriles RCN to produce RCF2 and Cl2, and with the sulfur oxides SO2 and SO3 to produce CloSO2F and CloSO2F respectively. It will also react exothermically and violently with compounds containing O and NH groups, such as water. Chlorine trifluoride is a volatile colorless molecular liquid which melts at minus 76. 3 degrees Celsius and boils at 11. 8 degrees Celsius. It may be formed by directly fluorinating gaseous chlorine or chlorine monofluoride at 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. It is one of the most reactive known chemical compounds. Reacting with many substances which in ordinary circumstances would be considered chemically inert, such as asbestos, concrete, and sand. It explodes on contact with water and most organic substances. The list of elements it sets on fire is diverse, containing hydrogen, potassium, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, bromine, iodine, and powdered molybdenum, tungsten, rhodium, iridium, and iron. An impermeable fluoride layer is formed by sodium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, tin, and silver, which may be removed by heating. When heated, even such noble metals as palladium, platinum, and gold are attacked and even the noble gases xenon and radon do not escape fluorination. Nickel containers are usually used due to that metal's great resistance to attack by chlorine trifluoride, stemming from the formation of an unreactive nickel fluoride layer. Its reaction with hydrazine to form hydrogen fluoride, nitrogen, and chlorine gases was used in experimental rocket motors, but has problems largely stemming from its extreme hypergolicity resulting in ignition without any measurable delay. Today, it is mostly used in nuclear fuel processing, to oxidize uranium to uranium hexafluoride for its enriching and to separate it from plutonium. It can act as a fluoride ion donor or acceptor, although it does not dissociate appreciably into ClF plus 2 and ClF minus 4 ions. Chlorine pentafluoride is made on a large scale by direct fluorination of chlorine with excess fluorine gas at 350 degrees Celsius and 250 atm. And on a small scale by reacting metal chlorides with fluorine gas at 100 to 300 degrees Celsius. It melts at minus 103 degrees Celsius and boils at minus 13. 1 degree Celsius. It is a very strong fluorinating agent, although it is still not as effective as chlorine trifluoride. Only a few specific stoichiometric reactions have been characterized. Arsenic pentafluoride and antimony pentafluoride form ionic adducts of the form, ClF4 plus MF6, minus and water reacts vigorously as follows. The product, chlorofluoride, is one of the five known chlorine oxide fluorides. These range from the thermally unstable FCLO to the chemically unreactive perchloral fluoride, the other three being FCLO2, FCLO, and F3CLO2. All five behave similarly to the chlorine fluorides, both structurally and chemically, and may act as Lewis acids or bases by gaining or losing fluoride ions respectively or as very strong oxidizing and fluorinating agents. Yellow chlorine dioxide gas above a yellow chlorine dioxide solution. Solutions of pure chlorine dioxide are dark green. This solution is yellow due to impurities produced from its photo decomposition. Structure of dichlorine heptoxide, Cl2O7, 
the most stable of the chlorine oxides the chlorine oxides are well studied in spite of their instability. They are important because they are produced when chlorofluorocarbons undergo photolysis in the upper atmosphere and cause the destruction of the ozone layer. None of them can be made from directly reacting the elements. Dichlorine monoxide is a brownish yellow gas which may be obtained by reacting chlorine gas with yellow mercury oxide. It is very soluble in water, in which it is in equilibrium with hypochlorous acid, of which it is the anhydride. It is thus an effective bleach and is mostly used to make hypochlorites. It explodes on heating or sparking or in the presence of ammonia gas. Chlorine dioxide was the first chlorine oxide to be discovered in 1811 by Humphrey Davy. It is a yellow paramagnetic gas, as expected from its having an odd number of electrons, it is stable towards demerization due to the delocalization of the unpaired electron. It explodes above minus 40 degrees Celsius as a liquid and under pressure as a gas and therefore must be made at low concentrations for wood pulp bleaching and water treatment. It is usually prepared by reducing a chlorate as follows, its production is thus intimately linked to the redox reactions of the chlorine oxoacids. It is a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with sulfur, phosphorus, phosphorus halides, and potassium borohydride. It dissolves exothermically in water to form dark green solutions that very slowly decompose in the dark. Crystalline clathrate hydrates clo 2 middle nh 20 separate out of low temperatures. However, in the presence of light, these solutions rapidly photodecompose to form a mixture of chloric and hydrochloric acids. Photolysis of individual CLO2 molecules result in the radicals CLO and ClO, while at room temperature mostly chlorine, oxygen, and some CLO3 and Cl2O6 are produced. Cl2O3 is also produced when photolysing the solid at minus 78 degrees Celsius, it is a dark brown solid that explodes below 0 degrees Celsius. The CLO radical leads to the depletion of atmospheric ozone and is thus environmentally important as follows. Chlorine perchlorate is a pale yellow liquid that is less stable than CLO2 and decomposes at room temperature to form chlorine, oxygen, and dichlorine hexoxide. Chlorine perchlorate may also be considered a chlorine derivative of perchloric acid, similar to the thermally unstable chlorine derivatives of other oxoacids. Examples include chlorine nitrate and chlorine fluorosulfate. Dichlorine hexoxide is a dark red liquid that freezes to form a solid which turns yellow at minus 180 degrees Celsius, it is usually made by reaction of chlorine dioxide with oxygen. Despite attempts to rationalize it as the dimer of CLO3, it reacts more as though it were chloral perchlorate, CLO2 plus CLO4, minus, which has been confirmed to be the correct structure of the solid. It hydrolyzes in water to give a mixture of chloric and perchloric acids, the analogous reaction with anhydrous hydrogen fluoride does not proceed to completion. Dichlorine heptoxide is the anhydride of perchloric acid and can readily be obtained from it by dehydrating it with phosphoric acid at minus 10 degrees Celsius and then distilling the product at minus 35 degrees Celsius and 1 mHg. It is a shock-sensitive, colorless oily liquid. It is the least reactive of the chlorine oxides, being the only one to not set organic materials on fire at room temperature. It may be dissolved in water to regenerate perchloric acid or in aqueous alkalis to regenerate perchlorates. However, it thermally decomposes explosively by breaking one of the central ClO bonds, producing the radicals CLO3 and CLO4 which immediately decompose to the elements through intermediate oxides. Chlorine forms four oxoacids, hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid, and perchloric acid. As can be seen from the redox potentials given in the adjacent table, chlorine is much more stable towards disproportionation in acidic solutions than in alkaline solutions, the hypochloride ions also disproportionate. Further to produce chloride and chlorate but this reaction is quite slow at temperatures below 70 degrees Celsius in spite of the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1027. The chlorate ions may themselves disproportionate to form chloride and perchlorate but this is still very slow even at 100 degrees Celsius despite the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1020. The rates of reaction for the chlorine oxynions increases as the oxidation state of chlorine decreases. The strengths of the chlorine oxyacids increase very quickly as the oxidation state of chlorine increases due to the increasing delocalization of charge over more and more oxygen atoms in their conjugate bases. Most of the chlorine oxoacids may be produced by exploiting these disproportionation reactions. Hypochlorous acid is highly reactive and quite unstable, its salts are mostly used for their bleaching and sterilizing abilities. They are very strong oxidizing agents, 
transferring an oxygen atom to most inorganic species. Chlorous acid is even more unstable and cannot be isolated or concentrated without decomposition, it is known from the decomposition of aqueous chlorine dioxide. However, sodium chloride is a stable salt and is useful for bleaching and stripping textiles, as an oxidizing agent, and as a source of chlorine dioxide. Chloric acid is a strong acid that is quite stable in cold water up to 30% concentration, but on warming gives chlorine and chlorine dioxide. Evaporation under reduced pressure allows it to be concentrated further to about 40%, but then it decomposes to perchloric acid, chlorine, oxygen, water, and chlorine dioxide. Its most important salt is sodium chlorate, mostly used to make chlorine dioxide to bleach paper pulp. The decomposition of chlorate to chloride and oxygen is a common way to produce oxygen in the laboratory on a small scale. Chloride and chlorate may comproportionate to form chlorine as follows, perchlorates and perchloric acid are the most stable oxo compounds of chlorine. In keeping with the fact that chlorine compounds are most stable when the chlorine atom is in its lowest or highest possible oxidation states. Perchloric acid and aqueous perchlorates are vigorous and sometimes violent oxidizing agents when heated, in stark contrast to their mostly inactive nature at room temperature due to the high activation energies for these reactions for kinetic reasons. Perchlorates are made by electrolytically oxidizing sodium chlorate, and perchloric acid is made by reacting anhydrosodium perchlorate or barium perchlorate with concentrated hydrochloric acid. Filtering away the chloride precipitated and distilling the filtrate to concentrate it. Anhydrous perchloric acid is a colorless mobile liquid that is sensitive to shock that explodes on contact with most organic compounds, sets hydrogen iodide and thionyl chloride on fire and even oxidizes silver and gold. Although it is a weak ligand, weaker than water, a few compounds involving coordinated CLO-4 are known. Suggested mechanism for the chlorination of a carboxylic acid by phosphorus pentachloride to form an acyl chloride like the other carbon halogen bonds, the CCL bond is a common functional group that forms part of core organic chemistry. Formally, compounds with this functional group may be considered organic derivatives of the chloride anion. Due to the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and carbon, the carbon in a CCL bond is electron deficient and thus electrophilic. Chlorination modifies the physical properties of hydrocarbons in several ways. Chlorocarbons are typically denser than water due to the higher atomic weight of chlorine versus hydrogen. And aliphatic organochlorides are alkylating agents because chloride is a leaving group. Alkanes and aryl alkanes may be chlorinated under free radical conditions, with UV light. However, the extent of chlorination is difficult to control, the reaction is not regioselective, and often results in a mixture of various isomers with different degrees of chlorination, though this may be permissible if the products are easily separated. Aryl chlorides may be prepared by the friedel crafts halogenation, using chlorine and a Lewis acid catalyst. The haliform reaction, using chlorine and sodium hydroxide, is also able to generate alkyl halides from methyl ketones, and related compounds. Chlorine adds to the multiple bonds on alkenes and alkenes as well, giving D or tetrachloro compounds. However, due to the expense and reactivity of chlorine, organochlorine compounds are more commonly produced by using hydrogen chloride, or with chlorinating agents such as phosphorus pentachloride or thionyl chloride. The last is very convenient in the laboratory because all side products are gaseous and do not have to be distilled out. Many organochlorine compounds have been isolated from natural sources ranging from bacteria to humans. Chlorinated organic compounds are found in nearly every class of biomolecules including alkaloids, terpenes, amino acids, flavonoids, steroids, and fatty acids. Organochlorides, including dioxins, are produced in the high-temperature environment of forest fires, and dioxins have been found in the preserved ashes of lightning-ignited fires that predate synthetic dioxins. In addition, a variety of simple chlorinated hydrocarbons including dichloromethane, chloroform, and carbon tetrachloride have been isolated from marine algae. A majority of the chloromethane in the environment is produced naturally by biological decomposition, forest fires, and volcanoes. Some types of organochlorides, though not all, have significant toxicity to plants or animals, including humans. Dioxins, produced when organic matter is burned in the presence of chlorine, and some insecticides, such as DDT, are persistent organic pollutants which pose dangers when they are released into the environment. For example, DDT, which was widely used to control insects in the mid-20th century, also accumulates in food chains and causes reproductive problems in certain bird species. 
Due to the ready homolytic fission of the CCL bond to create chlorine radicals in the upper atmosphere, chlorofluorocarbons have been phased out due to the harm they do to the ozone layer. Liquid chlorine analysis Chlorine is too reactive to occur as the free element in nature but is very abundant in the form of its chloride salts. It is the 21st most abundant element in Earth's crust and makes up 126 parts per million of it, through the large deposits of chloride minerals, especially sodium chloride, that have been evaporated from water bodies. All of these pale in comparison to the reserves of chloride ions in seawater, smaller amounts at higher concentrations occur in some inland seas and underground brine wells, such as the Great Salt Lake in Utah and the Dead Sea in Israel. Small batches of chlorine gas are prepared in the laboratory by combining hydrochloric acid and manganese dioxide, but the need rarely arises due to its ready availability. In industry, elemental chlorine is usually produced by the electrolysis of sodium chloride dissolved in water. This method, the chloroalkali process industrialized in 1892, now provides most industrial chlorine gas. Along with chlorine, the method yields hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide, which is the most valuable product. The process proceeds according to the following chemical equation, the electrolysis of chloride solutions all proceed according to. The following equations, in diaphragm cell electrolysis, an asbestos diaphragm separates a cathode and an anode. Preventing the chlorine forming at the anode from remixing with the sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen formed at the cathode. The salt solution is continuously fed to the anode compartment and flows through the diaphragm to the cathode compartment where the caustic alkali is produced and the brine is partially depleted. Diaphragm methods produce dilute and slightly impure alkali, but they are not burdened with the problem of mercury disposal and they are more energy efficient. Membrane cell electrolysis employs permeable membrane as an ion exchanger. Saturated sodium chloride solution is passed through the anode compartment, leaving it a lower concentration. This method also produces very pure sodium hydroxide but has the disadvantage of requiring very pure brine at high concentrations. Membrane cell process for chloroalkali production in the Deacon process, hydrogen chloride recovered from the production of organochlorine compounds is recovered as chlorine. The process relies on oxidation using oxygen, the reaction requires a catalyst. As introduced by Deacon, early catalysts were based on copper. Commercial processes, such as the Mitsui Mount chlorine process, have switched to chromium and ruthenium based catalysts. The chlorine produced is available in cylinders from sizes ranging from 450 grams to 70 kilograms, as well as drums, tank wagons, and barges. Sodium chloride is the most common chlorine compound, and is the main source of chlorine for the demand by the chemical industry. About 15,000 chlorine-containing compounds are commercially traded, including such diverse compounds as chlorinated methane, ethanes, vinyl chloride, polyvinyl chloride. Aluminium trichloride for catalysis, the chlorides of magnesium, titanium, zirconium, and hafnium which are the precursors for producing the pure form of those elements. Quantitatively, of all elemental chlorine produced, about 63% is used in the manufacture of organic compounds, and 18% in the manufacture of inorganic chlorine compounds. About 15,000 chlorine compounds are used commercially. The remaining 19% of chlorine produced is used for bleaches and disinfection products. The most significant of organic compounds in terms of production volume are 1,2 dichloroethane and vinyl chloride, intermediates in the production of PVC. Other particularly important organochlorines are methyl chloride, methylene chloride, chloroform, vinylidene chloride, trichloroethylene, perchloroethylene, allyl chloride, epichlorohydrin, chlorobenzene, dichlorobenzenes, and trichlorobenzenes. The major inorganic compounds include HCl, Cl2O, Hochul, NaClo3, chlorinated isocyanurates, AlCl3, CCl4, SnCl4, PCl3, PCl5, PCl3, SCl3, SBCl3, SBCl5, BiCl3, S2Cl2, SCl2, SCl2, CLF3, ICl, ICl3, TCl3, TCl4, MoCl5. FACL3, ZNCL2, and so on. Combating putrefaction in France, animal intestines were processed to make musical instrument strings, gold beater skin and other products. This was done in gut factories, and it was an odiferous and unhealthy process. In or about 1820, the Société d'Encouragement pour l'Industrie Nationale offered a prize for the discovery of a method, chemical or mechanical, for separating the peritoneal membrane of animal intestines without putrefaction. 
The prize was won by Antoine Germain Labariqui, a 44-year-old French chemist and pharmacist who had discovered that Bertolet's chlorinated bleaching solutions not only destroyed the smell of putrefaction of animal tissue decomposition, but also actually retarded the decomposition. Labariqui's research resulted in the use of chlorides and hypochlorites of lime and of sodium in the boiateries. The same chemicals were found to be useful in the routine disinfection and deodorization of latrines, sewers, markets, abattoirs, anatomical theaters, and morgues. They were successful in hospitals, lazarets, prisons, infirmaries, magnanaries, stables, cattle sheds, etc. Semicolon and they were beneficial during exhumations, embalming, outbreaks of epidemic disease, fever and blackleg in cattle. Disinfection of Baraquis chlorinated lime and soda solutions have been advocated since 1828 to prevent infection, called contagious. Infection, presumed to be transmitted by miasmas, and to treat putrefaction of existing wounds, including septic wounds. In his 1828 work, Labaraqui recommended that doctors breathe chlorine, wash their hands in chlorinated lime, and even sprinkle chlorinated lime about the patient's beds in cases of contagious infection. In 1828, the contagion of infections was well known even though the agency of the microbe was not discovered until more than half a century later. During the Paris cholera outbreak of 1832, large quantities of so-called chloride of lime were used to disinfect the capital. This was not simply modern calcium chloride, but chlorine gas dissolved in lime water to form calcium hypochlorite. Labaraqui's discovery helped to remove the terrible stench of decay from hospitals and dissecting rooms, and by doing so, effectively deodorized the Latin Quarter of Paris. These putrid miasmas were thought by many to cause the spread of contagion and infection, both words used before the germ theory of infection. Chloride of lime was used for destroying odors and putrid matter. One source claims chloride of lime was used by Dr. John Snow to disinfect water from the cholera-contaminated well that was feeding the Broad Street Pump in 1854 London. Though three other reputable sources that describe that famous cholera epidemic do not mention the incident. One reference makes it clear that chloride of lime was used to disinfect the offal and filth in the streets surrounding the Broad Street Pump, a common practice in mid-19th century England. Semmelweis and experiments with antisepsis Ignaz Semmelweis perhaps the most famous application of Labaraqui's chlorine and chemical base solutions was in 1847, when Ignaz Semmelweis used chlorine water, chlorine dissolved in pure water, which was cheaper than chlorinated lime solutions, to disinfect the hands of Austrian doctors, which Semmelweis noticed still carried the stench of decomposition from the dissection rooms to the patient examination rooms. Long before the germ theory of disease, Semmelweis theorized that cadaveric particles were transmitting decay from fresh medical cadavers to living patients, and he used the well-known Labaraqui solutions as the only known method to remove the smell of decay and tissue decomposition. The solutions proved to be far more effective antiseptics than soap, and this resulted in Semmelweis's celebrated success in stopping the transmission of childbed fever in the maternity wards of Vienna General Hospital in Austria in 1847. Much later, during World War I in 1916, a standardized and diluted modification of Labaraqui's solution containing hypochlorite and boric acid as an acidic stabilizer was developed by Henry Drysdale Dakin. Called Dakin's solution, the method of wound irrigation with chlorinated solutions allowed antiseptic treatment of a wide variety of open wounds, long before the modern antibiotic era. A modified version of this solution continues to be employed in wound irrigation in modern times, where it remains effective against bacteria that are resistant to multiple antibiotics. Public sanitation liquid pool chlorine The first continuous application of chlorination to drinking U.S. water was installed in Jersey City, New Jersey, in 1908. By 1918, the U.S. Department of Treasury called for all drinking water to be disinfected with chlorine. Chlorine is presently an important chemical for water purification, in disinfectants, and in bleach. Even small water supplies are now routinely chlorinated. Chlorine is usually used to kill bacteria and other microbes in drinking water supplies and public swimming pools. In most private swimming pools, chlorine itself is not used, but rather sodium hypochlorite formed from chlorine and sodium hydroxide, or solid tablets of chlorinated isocyanurates. The drawback of using chlorine in swimming pools is that the chlorine reacts with the proteins in human hair and skin. Contrary to popular belief, the distinctive chlorine aroma associated with swimming pools is not the result of elemental chlorine itself, but of chloramine, 
a chemical compound produced by the reaction of free dissolved chlorine with amines in organic substances. As a disinfectant in water, chlorine is more than three times as effective against Escherichia coli as bromine, and more than six times as effective as iodine. Increasingly, monochloramine itself is being directly added to drinking water for purposes of disinfection, a process known as chloramination. It is often impractical to store and use poisonous chlorine gas for water treatment, so alternative methods of adding chlorine are used. These include hypochlorite solutions, which gradually release chlorine into the water, and compounds like sodium dichloro s triazinitrione, sometimes referred to as dichlor, and trichloro s triazinitrione, sometimes referred to as trichlor. These compounds are stable while solid and may be used in powdered, granular, or tablet form. When added in small amounts to pool water or industrial water systems, the chlorine atoms hydrolyze from the rest of the molecule, forming hypochlorous acid, which acts as a general biocide, killing germs, microorganisms, algae, and so on. World War I chlorine gas, also known as Berthelite, was first used as a weapon in World War I by Germany on April 22, 1915, in the Second Battle of Ypres. As described by the soldiers, it had the distinctive smell of a mixture of pepper and pineapple. It also tasted metallic and stung the back of the throat and chest. Chlorine reacts with water in the mucosa of the lungs to form hydrochloric acid, destructive to living tissue and potentially lethal. Human respiratory systems can be protected from chlorine gas by gas masks with activated charcoal or other filters, which makes chlorine gas much less lethal than other chemical weapons. It was pioneered by a German scientist later to be a Nobel laureate, Fritz Haber of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, in collaboration with the German chemical conglomerate Igfarben, which developed methods for discharging chlorine gas against an entrenched enemy. After its first use, both sides in the conflict used chlorine as a chemical weapon, but it was soon replaced by the more deadly phosgene and mustard gas. Iraq chlorine gas was also used during the Iraq War in Anbar province in 2007, with insurgents packing truck bombs with mortar shells and chlorine tanks. The attacks killed two people from the explosives and sickened more than 350. Most of the deaths were caused by the force of the explosions rather than the effects of chlorine since the toxic gas is readily dispersed and diluted in the atmosphere by the blast. In some bombings, over a hundred civilians were hospitalized due to breathing difficulties. The Iraqi authorities tightened security for elemental chlorine, which is essential for providing safe drinking water to the population. On October 23, 2014, it was reported that the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant had used chlorine gas in the town of Duluya, Iraq. Laboratory analysis of clothing and soil samples confirmed the use of chlorine gas against Kurdish Peshmerga forces in a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device attack on January 23, 2015 at the Highway 47 Kiska Junction near Mosul. Syria The Syrian government has used chlorine as a chemical weapon delivered from barrel bombs and rockets. In 2016, the OPCWUN Joint Investigative Mechanism concluded that the Syrian government used chlorine as a chemical weapon in three separate attacks. Later investigations from the OPCW's investigation and identification team concluded that the Syrian Air Force was responsible for chlorine attacks in 2017 and 2018. The chloride anion is an essential nutrient for metabolism. Chlorine is needed for the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach and in cellular pump functions. The main dietary source is table salt, or sodium chloride. Overly low or high concentrations of chloride in the blood are examples of electrolyte disturbances. Hypochloremia rarely occurs in the absence of other abnormalities. It is sometimes associated with hypoventilation. It can be associated with chronic respiratory acidosis. Hyperchloremia usually does not produce symptoms. When symptoms do occur, they tend to resemble those of hypernatremia. Reduction in blood chloride leads to cerebral dehydration. Symptoms are most often caused by rapid rehydration which results in cerebral edema. Hyperchloremia can affect oxygen transport. Chlorine is a toxic gas that attacks the respiratory system, eyes, and skin. Because it is denser than air, it tends to accumulate at the bottom of poorly ventilated spaces. Chlorine gas is a strong oxidizer, which may react with flammable materials. Chlorine is detectable with measuring devices in concentrations as low as 0. 2 parts per million, and by smell at 3 parts per million. Coughing and vomiting may occur at 30 parts per million and lung damage at 60 parts per million. About 1,000 parts per million can be fatal after a few deep breaths of the gas. The IDLH concentration is 10 parts per million. 
Breathing lower concentrations can aggravate the respiratory system and exposure to the gas can irritate the eyes. When chlorine is inhaled at concentrations greater than 30 parts per million, it reacts with water within the lungs, producing hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. When used at specified levels for water disinfection, the reaction of chlorine with water is not a major concern for human health. Other materials present in the water may generate disinfection by products that are associated with negative effects on human health. In the United States, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set the permissible exposure limit for elemental chlorine at 1 part per million, or 3 mg M3. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has designated a recommended exposure limit of 0. 5 parts per million over 15 minutes. In the home, accidents occur when hypochlorite bleach solutions come into contact with certain acidic drain cleaners to produce chlorine gas. Hypochlorite bleach combined with ammonia produces chloramines, another toxic group of chemicals. Chlorine attack on an acetal resin plumbing joint resulting from a fractured acetal joint in a water supply system which started at an injection molding defect in the joint and slowly grew until the part failed. The fracture surface shows iron and calcium salts that were deposited in the leaking joint from the water supply before failure and are the indirect result of the chlorine attack. Chlorine is widely used for purifying water, especially potable water supplies and water used in swimming pools. Several catastrophic collapses of swimming pool ceilings have occurred from chlorine-induced stress corrosion cracking of stainless steel suspension rods. Some polymers are also sensitive to attack, including acetal resonant and polybutene. Both materials were used in hot and cold water domestic plumbing, and stress corrosion cracking caused widespread failures in the U.S. in the 1980s and 1990s. The element iron can combine with chlorine at high temperatures in a strong exothermic reaction, creating a chlorine iron fire. Chlorine iron fires are a risk in chemical process plants, where much of the pipework that carries chlorine gas is made of steel. Thanks for watching.